Hey everyone, welcome to The Maven, Tara Perry, your host here, and I'm gonna give you my top 10 movies of the summer of 2015. Let the judgment commence. Number 10. Fantastic Four. Yes, it's better than the last franchise, but just give it to Marvel. Let them do it. They've really got it worked out over there. Number nine, Poltergeist. What summer without an unnecessary reboot? Let's be honest, it wasn't as good as the first one. The first one blows it out of the water, but Sam Rockwell is just so damn lovable. There's a link on the screen. Click it if you want to find out more about the real history of Poltergeist and all the creepy things that went on with filming. Really scary stuff. Number eight, Terminator Genesis. It's like a fan fiction version of the original Terminator movie. Sure, why not? Action, things blowing up. That's all it takes to get on my list, apparently. <laughs> Number seven, Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. I would like to have the IMDB version of a Fitbit just to see how many steps Tom Cruise has run over his career. You know the Tom Cruise run where his shoulders are real tight and his face is really focused and everything's moving but his legs. It's like, everything hurts now. Number six, Ant-Man. More like Ab Man. Am I right? Really fun summer movie, way more fun than I expected. I didn't see it in 3D, although I heard the 3D was amazing, if you can still see it in theaters where you are. But uh, definitely check it out. Number five, Jurassic World. If anyone knows me, they know my favorite movie in the entire world is Jurassic Park. So no one was more excited than me. I wore a Jeff Goldblum t-shirt and dinosaur earrings and I loved every minute of it. Oh, and Chris Pratt. Number four, Avengers 2. Some argue that this was even better than the first one. I don't know about that, but I had a blast watching it. I don't like that they keep destroying entire cities though to save a couple hundred people. I just think about the people cleaning up the next day. Ugh. Captain America, you know my tax dollars are paying for this mess cleanup. Number three, Mad Max Fury Road. This was so fun. Guitar playing psychopaths on the tops of cars, are you kidding me? This whole movie was like the last final fight scene and car chase of some big ass movie, but it was the entire film. Plus you got to see Charlize Theron and the Golden Girls kick major ass and they did their own stunts. Yeah, the old ladies did their own stunts. That's amazing. Number two, Ex Machina. Okay, I know it wasn't technically a summer movie. It came out in April, but oh my God. It is sci-fi to the extreme. It's the best CGI I've seen in forever. Everything about this movie is cool. From the set, to the lighting, to the music, artificial intelligence. And the whole time you're like, are they good? Are they bad? But she's super hot and you're like, I'll do whatever you tell me to. So good. The number one summer movie of 2015, Inside Out. This movie made me feel things that I haven't felt in a long time. And it's a cartoon. Pixar makes movie making look easy. I don't know how they do it, but they introduce melancholy to children at a very young age and then tug at our heartstrings as adults and make me cry like a baby because of bing bong. The detail that they went into in Inside Out with the brain and how memories are developed was genius and Amy Poehler nailed it as joy. I'd like to think that I have my own little joy in my brain. We should bring the movie Maven back. Everyone loved that show. <laughs> I don't know, Joy. It's been a really long time since you've done it. Ugh, we'd have to work with Rich again. Oh, Ugh. What if no one watches it? What if nobody cares? Stop with the tits or get the f out comments! <laughs> Sorry about that. Did we leave your top movie of the summer off the list? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.